Welcome back. Welcome back. I definitely wasn't just dancing. That didn't happen. It didn't. Uh, uh, thank you, Minimap. It did not happen. Hello. So, uh, when we last saw you, chat, uh, it was not top eight, and now it is top eight. Oh, we got Genesis CC in the background waving. Everybody wave to Genesis CC. Hello. What, say hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Uh, turns out I'm here after all. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. There, I, I know we left you in a bit of suspense, but uh, but Minimat, Minimat negotiated with the powers that be. He, he set his foot down, and he said, I'm not leaving with the job half done. Uh, they could not physically lift me, and so I was able to stay. <laughs> welcome welcome back, Minimat. Yeah, Minimat was actually just glued. He chained himself to the chair. It was very impressive. It's a bold move, but it paid off for me. Yeah. Gordo versus Linne. Swallowed the key. I don't know how you're going to get out of there, man. <laughs> uh it's gonna be I tough. didn't think about it. All right, so uh, so we got we got a uh, Gordo, we got Giuseppe over here versus uh, versus Miller two B's Line. And ooh, starts it off with a two B of his own. Miller actually. counter hit two B. Yeah, Miller they counter him. hit two B. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, all right, so just uh, zoning through. So these two had a really, really funny, um, I'll call it funny, I think Miller found it kind of traumatic, <laughs> um, interaction at a Michigan tournament uh, earlier this year um, that I bore witness to because I happened to be there, um, where uh, Miller had just sort of given up on opening up Giuseppe. Like, like Giuseppe had defended everything that Miller had done. So Miller just ran at Giuseppe and Giuseppe just sat there and crouch blocked and this went on for several seconds like 20 seconds or something oh no like like Miller had just had just had just had just decided it was over and so had so had Giuseppe because Giuseppe wasn't going to get hit but uh Giuseppe currently hitting Miller 2B hopefully uh hopefully not going to uh to, to do quite that to Miller this time yeah there's Ooh. been uh, some time to digest, make some changes. Uh, it has been like many months at this point. So Miller could be a completely different player if you wanted to. Oh my God! So this is exactly the thing. Like, oh. like uh, that. Okay. Well. Uh, well, you told. There, have there you heard you of the term foreshadowing? There you go, chat. There it is. That's exactly what we may see a little bit more of here. Is uh, Miller just? not knowing how to open up Giuseppe. Hopefully, uh, you know what? I really, really hope that we don't get to see too much of that. Yeah, you mentioned earlier that Giuseppe's defense is uh, very well it's known. very well known, yeah, for, for exactly things like this. So, actually, uh, it's not going to happen this round because Giuseppe just obviates the need for it yeah. with a perfect. TP. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he, he TP'd Miller's house. And, uh, in real life, yeah, just, that's the crazy uh, yeah. thing. IRL and in game, it was uh, it's, now it's that's actually now, really messed now up. Now that's yeah. foreshadowing. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, this is top eight winners right now. So this is uh, the first winners match we have. The next one I think is um, White Beast versus Ah oh, shoot, uh, someone else. I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, Ah oh, shoot, someone else is my favorite Eunice player. <laughs> oh yeah, you know mine too. Um, okay, runs up, uh, gets it, up, finds an opening. And it's going to carry to the corner. Oh, no. Unfortunately, drops it. Poking out. Oh, finds the late Kuga. Now, that is how you open up a Giuseppe. <laughs> oh, big counter hit. Yep. And now uh, Giuseppe is going to have a big life lead with which to uh, defensively annoy the fuck out of his opponent. <laughs> but uh, chooses not to, actually. Chooses to get hit by a, uh, by a little 2A. Bold choice. Pushed into the corner now. Here we go. Looking for something, not going to give him anything. Oh, okay. Gives him a bit, but at this point, oh, oh finds nice. it. Yep, nope. Baits him with just a small walk back. You can get out of the corner if only you try. You can't. Now it you're dead. It was a lie. I fooled uh, you. you yes. It was an it was an elaborate ruse to <laughs> lure you out of the corner. Ew. I'm not going to do that voice anymore. <laughs> I'm done. All right. But, uh, Good old Giuseppe, a.k.a. Bobby Boucher, AKA, sitting on 200 meters. A.k.a. Bobby Boucher, formerly a.k.a. Super Science Guillotine Gorilla. <laughs> no longer no longer that anymore. Watch uh, watch Samurai Flamenco, folks. That's a, that's a, good, uh, <laughs> it's a good fucking anime. All right, uh, so Miller 2B uh, putting in some pressure. Ooh, gets to seed, unfortunately. Option selects out all day. All right, this is going to be a big throw combo. Ooh, nope, never mind. It's a small throw combo. Back to neutral. Yeah, back to neutral. There's, yeah, so, I don't know. Giuseppe basically <laughs> taunting. 
more or less. Uni doesn't have taunts, but it kind of has taunts. Uh, life finds a way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Players will find a way to be rude to each other, and 2C is very rude, so rude it ends this game. And this will be set point for Bobby. For Bobby. For, for, for dang it, Bobby. <laughs> All right. For Bobby Hill. Uh, yeah. Set point for Bobby Hill. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got a uh, we got Miller driving to the corner here, doing doing an awful lot of cougars, uh, and and Gordo Giuseppe just biting on nothing, no shields, no anything, just sitting there waiting for Miller to make a mistake. But Miller doesn't make a mistake. Miller had this all planned out from the start. Oh my! Oh, oh okay. All is. right. Yep. Slide didn't work last time. Got me counter hit. This oh. time, this definitely time it's gonna, gonna work. work. And, and you know he what? Right. He was absolutely right. That's uh, that's fighting games though. You do the thing, it was right. Okay. Uh, like that's the big dirty secret that no one really wants to say out loud. Out loud, the difference between a really good read and a really dumb choice is whether it worked or not. Sometimes. Absolutely. You want to talk about dumb choices? Uh, uh, Miller just did a very unsafe roll, but got the full cross up for it. Uh, Giuseppe was not ready for it. You can't always be ready for everything. All yeah, right. So uh, Lina, oh my God, finds the sweep. Wow. Oh my God. No, that's it. Miller, unfortunately, finds the opening and it isn't enough. Miller not happy about it. Smiling politely, but I just can't imagine he's too pleased. That's all right. Giuseppe with a convincing uh, a convincing and, and slightly unhappy 2-0. Out, uh, out in winner's finals, waiting for whoever wins the uh, next game here, which is going to be White Beast versus somebody. The in the infamous whoop boost. I'm going to be honest, I actually didn't know that meme was connected to a person. Yeah, until no, tonight. it's a real person. I just saw people uh, from the scene posting whoop boost a lot. Whoop boost. Yeah, and no. only now do I really know yeah, who yeah. whooped the boost. So I that started at the tournament where the awful thing happened to Miller, actually. So oh. late, what a tournament! We had a we had a late night kind of like salty sweet, like anime sweet thing going on, and uh, people were people were substantially drunk. Um, and uh, Drifter Dane, and so this this is a thing that happened. It's not actually connected specifically to Whoop Boost. People just started shouting Whoop Boost because it was funny. Right. Um, so that's that's like the that's like the source of that. But at this event, uh, the thing that I think solidified White Beast as in fact the woodest of the Buddhists uh, is uh, Drifter Dane, and he played a chip mirror, and White Beast I K'd him. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that was that was the beginning, and uh, some would even say the pinnacle of wood boost. <laughs> but here we got uh, we got Ju versus Kadaticus. I actually think this is a uh, this is a losers match. I think uh, they might be might be waiting on somebody for for the next winners match. Might be yeah. occupied with something else. Hold on, I am going to check Twitter just momentarily. Good choice. Uh What's up on Twitter right now? Oh, the celebs are at it again. Dang. They're always at it. Man, um, so Blue. Blue is one of the uh, people running this event. Um, she no, Blue is a color. Well, that's... <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for the clarification. So Blue is one of the people uh, running this tournament, and she has asked me twice today if I'm going to be occupied at a particular time, and twice I've had to be like, yes, I'm occupied. And, <laughs> like, I know that that's fine because I'm taking care of the tournament. I'm doing the things I'm supposed to do, but internally I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. No. Don't I understand yell at me. the feeling. Don't yell at me, Mom. <laughs> uh, shout outs to buying colors mid top eight. Listen, I respect it. That's very important. So this is another this is another thing. Um there's there's a lot of if you're if you're watching the stream and you're like, well, why did they do that and why are they even talking about it on commentary? There's a lot of ritual in fighting games. There's a lot of like, oh, okay, so I need to stop and think. There's no reason you have to go back to character select to do that, but people do it anyway because it's part of the process. It's part of the way they just sort of like relax and figure shit out. Right. Having your color is a is a ritual thing. It's a comfort thing, and I totally respect people handling that. Often fighting game fighting games not often always are a very mental game. Yes. And human beings just in general operate way better when they're uh, consistently doing certain things. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so uh, Kathaticus uh, consistently playing neutral game right now with Ju. Ju consistently finding those CSTPs. Uh, and all right, yep, just runs up, waits, uh, does a little two A, little mash, and uh, this is going to be knockdown in the corner. 
Uh, oh my god, Kipaticus jumps out, gets the jump C. And that's another CSDP for JU. Like I told you, consistent. Uh, Sacred Spire finds his way out. Nice. Oh my pick god, up. that pickup, yo. Oh man, some of Warriors pickups uh, like are uh, like are cool. Okay. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about earlier. That the orb set play. Yep. There's always a way out of it. There's a, always a tech option that uh, makes it so you don't have to hold the mix up. And Jay was showing that he knew it, but uh, gets gets ticked on for his troubles. So. Oh my God! Just start the round with Divine Thrust. Who gives a shit? I'm playing Ori. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's my turn forever. Yeah. All right, uh, this is going to be Orb. Yep, just keep you in the corner. Find an opportunity to charge. And Jay says, no, sir. No, sir. You will be in the corner. <laughs> and this is going to be Knockdown into Reasonable Oki. Into yeah, back dispatch off. off. Yeah, sure. Changes okay. to scary. Yeah, catches the, catches the air to air. Blocks Sacred Spire. And that's going to be a big combo for Jay. That's going to be basically however much Jay wants it to be. 3,200. Yeah, that's pretty good. Combo, yeah. Oh, my oh. God. Save jumps the other DP. And Kavaticus has got to be feeling that one. Yeah, that is a painful way to lose a round. Yeah, that is unfortunate. But you know what? Happens sometimes. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, gets the uh, gets the uh, gets the counter stance. Mashes a little bit. Oh, and Ju finds it. He's not actually like that's not unsafe for Kadaticus to do. But uh, you know, Kadaticus probably pressed the button there. Right. All right. So, but Kadaticus oh. finds his way into maneuvering Ju into the corner. Ju finds his way out again. Okay, now that is plus. That's like plus four. So J.U. mashing there was a little bit unsafe, but Kithaticus didn't make him honor it. And that is going to be the game. Yeah, that's sort of, in situations like that, the question is, uh, do you do the faster move that enforces the plus frames? Exactly. Or do you expect your opponent to be aware of them and block, allowing you to do slower things that are fake? Exactly, exactly. So if you, if you want that plus four, you basically have to just jab after that. And jab is low reward, you know? It's a safe option, but it's not going to get you a whole lot. And it's not going to mix them up. They're going to be crouch block. Yep. So you really, really, really hope that they are willing to let you do whatever you want. And Ju is absolutely not. Ju is a mashing motherfucker. <laughs> no offense to Ju. Ju beats me all the time, but no, that like you, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, mash is not necessarily a negative term in anime Correct. games. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I talked to a lot oh of Street Fighter. God. Oh man, what a grab! Yeah. Street geez. Fighter players don't usually seem to understand that initially. That when you say good mash, it is unironic. Yeah, no, that's completely no unironic. I say, I say good mash to my opponents all the time when I leave a thing that I know is negative and unsafe and they recognize it. Like, that's right. just how it is. You have, to take, you have to take those risks. But, uh, you know, in Street Fighter, in a game where you're plus so often, mashing is just like a very bad idea. Like, you want to make your opponent whip and then deal with it. Right. And Ju wants to make Kathaticus do bad uh, Sacred Spires, block it, and then punish. And he gets it. He does. All right, so Kathaticus uh, wins the first exchange with Divine Thrust. Oh, my gosh. Ju uh, goes for the counter. He doesn't quite get it. And Kathaticus going to make him, gonna make him uh, deal with it in the corner. Ju deals with it quite effectively. Crosses Kathaticus back into the corner. Ooh, catches a frame trap. And pushes back into the corner. Ooh, meaty Kuga off the tech. I like that a lot. Oh, Veil off. by Veil off. Veil off into set play orb is so good. It's so good, yeah. It's, uh, I think, one of one of uh, Ori's best, like, momentum reversal things. Yeah. So. All right, so Ori has chain shift, uh, but can't get anything out of it. And that is the set. Yeah, yeah it's is, uh, hard to get anything out of it when you're dead and the set is over. Yeah. Bummer for Kathaticus. He's up. He's out. Uh, ooh, up up and out so fast they got their uh, cords tangled a little bit. That happens. Yeah. That happens. There's nothing weird about that. Um. But uh, good, good showing from Ju. We'll see more of him in top eight. I don't think we'll see more of Kapaticus. Yeah, I so. believe that was the elimination bracket. Okay, so that was that was one of our losers bracket matches. Yeah, exactly. So now we have uh, our second winners bracket match coming up here, which is going to be White Beast versus Footwork. So Footwork again, one of the Gordos that we've seen today. Not uh, Super Science Guillotine Gorilla or Super Science Bobby Boucher, <laughs> but uh, but the other one. Uh, and White, <laughs> yeah, the, you know the other one. The other one. The other one. And uh, White Beast, Woo Boost. Is uh, is is our Vatiska player who has uh, put up, I think, a very strong show in this tournament. I'm already a fan. Yeah, yeah. You're you're you're. you're uh, I, uh, I was trying to do a white beast thing with it, but I don't like a woo boost thing. But I, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I'm gonna leave the puns I, to you. I'm gonna I'd leave like, the puns to the expert. I like how good uh, white beast is at 
being all the way, he, he moves around on the screen very well as a very stationary character. You might even say that it's a boost mobile. Boost mobile. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, 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 all right. you know what? Alright, alright. Alright, we're shutting the stream off. It was good to see you all. <laughs> oh, what, what, what do you mean you're making me leave? What do you mean you're kicking? No! <laughs> no! Just right. kidding, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he's still here. <laughs> Nobody look at him. Nobody acknowledge him. No, this yeah. is good. This is Gordo good. Batista. Gordo, Gordo Batista. I have no idea how this matchup goes. I don't, I've never seen it before in my life. Who are these characters? <laughs> what, what game are we playing right now? No, I sincerely don't know how this matchup goes. Uh, I think I, it's, I'm, I'm curious to see how they play it. My intuition would be that it's probably not actually particularly bad for either character. What makes you say that? Well, so the thing about Batista is... Characters that struggle against her are characters that cannot get past the projectiles without taking these huge, tremendous risks. Sure, yeah. And uh, Gordo has a couple things that are low-risk options that force her to not just sit there doing projectiles forever. He has the claws. He has the infamous Grim, Re Grim Reaper. He has 5C. So he has ways to challenge that uh, mean that he doesn't have to take these giant risk jump assaults into anti -ears. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally see what you're saying. Um... At the yeah, same time, it's not know. like a Batista can never keep. Whoa, whoa chaos! Whoa, whoa! Oh, uh, uh, okay. okay. Oh man, I got, I got really excited. I was like, yeah, chaos! Let's go! That's my character. I want to see this. But uh, footwork not, not giving it to it. Play chaos, you coward! <laughs> play chaos! All right, all right. No, he's gonna, he's gonna play Gordo. He's gonna play Gordo. He should play Gordo. <laughs> No coaching. No coach. Yeah, sorry, that was coaching. I apologize. I, I I will I will remove myself from the venue immediately. Okay. So uh, they're on the man. They're on the playground again. I don't like the stage. Ah, oh, look at that orb. That orb's so hard to see on the stage. Yeah. What the heck? Get it out of there. That's cheating. That's cheating. Mom, the test is cheating. Yeah. All right. Um, but no, just uh, just. Yeah, and there it is. The, that clock. Exactly. Yeah. Um, notice uh, footwork exactly faded the explosion of the of the sign. Was like on the very edge of it. Um, that's that's really good spacing. Um, and uh, White Beast recognizing that that's the spacing that footwork wants to be and closing it with a six six C. Oh my God! And Grim Reaper closing the spacing no matter where you are into a nice little combo. Uh, I say little, I mean you know three point four K casual three point four K. Little, just a bit. Who breaks the assimilation? I like it. Good awareness. Two, two C. Uh, but Batista cannot be counter hit, so it didn't matter. Right. Yeah. So, so every character in this game has like a special trait. Um, well, almost every character. Yeah, and by special trait, it often just means like thing character does. Like, right. like for example, uh, Chaos's thing is like special trait is has a dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so Batista's is that you can't get counter hit. It's the long and short of it. Um, Hides is that some of his sword normal, like all of his sword normals do like chip damage. I don't know what Gordo's is. Gordo uh, doesn't matter, whatever. Get him out of there. I think it has to do with grid gain, if I remember oh, correctly. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Assimilation seals grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Mika doesn't have one because they forgot. Mika, Mika, well, that's, so that's, so that's, um, I'm not talking about verbal traits. I'm just talking about like, like special things the character does. Like, uh, fucking, uh, Waldstein's claws, like, eat projectiles. That's oh, just right, a thing yeah. that happens. Um, but uh, I don't know what either of these characters' Warple traits are, in fact, and uh, I'm not going to find out this game because Footwork is going to not win it just yet. Commentators curse again, everybody. Um, so White, Be White Beast has another chance here. Backdash out of Batista set play. Oh, uh, catches the backdash. Just going to keep backdashing. Okay, run up 2C. I like it a lot. And this is going to be a uh, full combo into some kind of setup. Ooh, catches him, and that it is going to be the it. round for Woot Bruce. Takes Let's it go. all the way off of 5% life. Wow, that was that was an impressive comeback from White Beast. Definitely showing that he is in this to win this. Oh my God, yeah, just blocks him on the slide, tries to get him with the 6-6-B, six, six doesn't quite. A nice shield on the aerial, and that is going to be a full punish for White Beast. Yep, yeah, look Big at that. Damage. Sitting on... Oh, doesn't block the veil off, unfortunately. Oh, God. Reversal assimilation. So brutal. This is so Here scary because Gordo pressure. has all this meter. You don't want to get careless and press a button. Nice shield break. And that gives that gives White Beast the opportunity to start his own offense. But unfortunately, uh, gets guard thrusted back into the corner. And then, oh, oh no. well, okay. Things are Critical happening so drop. fast. White Beast uh, gets another reversal. Um, 
Um, and has another opportunity here. Has Warple this time. We'll see what he does with it. Okay. Oh, yep. Gets the unblockable uh, 5A out of the air. Shields it. Shields it. Scary shield opportunity there, actually. Gordo could have definitely thrown. White Beast very patient. Oh, yeah. Good, good mix-ups on the late. So, White Beast hasn't been doing a lot of lasers this set. And now is finding opportunities to mix them in. Oh, no. What a big hit. Oh, this is, this is actually... Okay, so... White Beast kind of has to make something happen because there are 10 seconds on the clock. Does so with the instant overhead. And that is going to be the end of the game, probably. White Beast, do something! White Beast! Okay, <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> oh, they're laughing about it. They're having a good... Yeah, three seconds on the clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just, uh, just going to take a nap in the air. Sleepy. Sleepy. I get it. I, too, am sleepy. I feel it. I feel it. In my bones. Nemocon. Right back into it. Right back into it, yep. Both players satisfied with the way that things went. Willing to run it back. Little Akatsuki theme, that's what uh, that's we're playing right now. Another Dawn of War is, I believe, the name of the track. Uh, also, maybe uh, good to say, but we could have switched the stage away from this. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And I think it was suboptimal of him not to confirm that. Yeah, now he has to deal with uh, invisible projectiles again. Yeah. Didn't seem to consider a problem. Ooh, gets the Grim Reaper into the full combo here out of the corner. Still has a substantial life lead uh, to front. Oh my god, the run up shield. Oh, this is this is how footwork runs it back. It's just finding an antsy white beast. Good grab. Yeah, this is gonna be big damage actually. 200 meter. Wow, 3k from that proration, that's amazing. Alright. Oh my god, Grim Reaper. Why were you doing something? <laughs> Big dummy. I've chain shifted and I am Gordo. It is your turn to wait. But it's all right. Uh, White Beast uh, closing in with the 5C into the aerial. Spends for the uh, Super Ball. Forcing him to block it. Ooh, just uh, does, a, does a sort of intimidating stand. <laughs> He's just standing there, <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> T-posing on him. T-posing it, yeah. Batista, Batista is a is a teen, and and she will just T-pose on you aggressively. Actually, she looks like she's in fucking elementary school. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. <laughs> The T pose. The T, but, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what? That, that thing. Yeah. All right. Gets a knockdown 2C, blocks it. Oh, oh, mashes out of. I, I still don't know what he's going with those top moves. Like, it, that's the second time we've seen that this uh, this tournament. I don't know what it is. Uh, at this point, it's either some uh, esoteric setup I don't understand or a right? consistent drop. Right, yeah, something. It's got to be one of the two. All right, well, footwork uh, showing us some fancy footwork right now. On, uh, on White Beast in the corner here. White Beast going to have to contend with an overhead eventually, going to have to contend with throw attempts, is go not going to have to contend with any of those because finds the right time to 6 6 C out, put footwork in the corner, and now uh, footwork is the one who has to hold that. Here's some set play, good blocks. Oh, oh no. nice, shield break. Okay. Oh, oh my god, okay. Yeah, this is uh, two seconds, not going to, yeah. That's tough. Yeah, getting getting assimilated there was the thing that really put White Beast out of contention for that round. All right, it's one one now. White Beast versus Footwork going to the final game of this top eight winner set. Could go either way. Whoever wins this advances to winners finals. Yeah, both players definitely want to secure the path to uh, only having to win one set in grand oh, finals. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Not that I don't love watching bragger resets, but. As being the bragger resets. Having that extra life when how's you get that, down to the end there. How's DBFC going right now? DBFC uh, is they did it somewhere else. Yeah, either they finished it or uh, or something else. Either or they or they took it off. Um, DBFC ran uh, two hours longer than it should have. Uh, but but what isn't running two hours longer is Unist. Yeah, Unist runs on time because it's a game that finishes in a reasonable span. <laughs> Um, and footwork uh, having a having a pretty substantial uh, life life uh, shoot. What's the word for when you have less than someone else? Uh, I can't remember. Deficit. Deficit. Thank you, God. I'm smart. <laughs> All right. Ooh, doesn't confirm that, and that's going to be a big punish for White Beast. This actually could be the round I think if White Beast wants it to be. Uh, unfortunately, uh, drops it just a little bit here. Ooh, goes for a safe ender there with the two force function. Gets oh, hit by the, yeah, the I was about to say being very 
patient, but uh, he patiently crouch blocked the charge. Yeah, overhead. sometimes that happens. Oh my God, gets safe jumped and uh, footwork gonna have a pretty heavily prorated combo because it started with JA, but that's still 3K. I mean, that's not little. Wow, what a Jumps jump back! The assimilation, Woot boost, Woot boost, Woot boosting to the next level right now. Boosted himself off the ground with his own two feet. Ooh, and now you see, out of the now you see him finding opportunities to actually uh, throw out those flash kicks in safe situations because uh, he's starting to bait footwork into the air and just neutral. Yeah, yeah, see that? Yeah. So now he now he knows what to look for, knows the assaults, and uh, is able to is able to force footwork into bad situations. Presses the button. Oh, oh, the uh, Stein actually kind of messed up the combo right there a little bit. That's unfortunate. But White Beast is very ahead on life at the moment. Yeah. Ooh, oh, well, wow. That sometimes you get assimilated. From across the field. Honestly, I think White Beast is okay to take that. Yeah, see, now he's, yeah. he does a little sweep. 200 meter, combo. this could just be it. Uh, ooh, doesn't quite. I uh, lied. Play I lied shift. to all of you. Yeah, goes to chain shift. Oh, my God. What a wow. smart jump. And White Beast advances to winner's finals. A stunning performance from the Woodist of Buddhists. Boosts all the way straight to winners. Worst burst, more like West Best. Wheat, wheat beer. I, I, yeah, I don't think you want to say the other <laughs> word that you could say that. Wheat beer, wheat beer. Woodbus. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it big. <laughs> Hey, real quick, uh, stream shout out to Ricola, uh, uh, one of our one of our fellow commentators, Fox, uh, gave us these, and Ricolas I think are basically the only thing keeping my throat bearable right now. I'm gonna put one in. I may be a little bit silent for a moment. I hope that's okay. I'll try not to take too much time. <laughs> Thank just, you, Fox. I, I just need this. Fox bailing us out from across. Why does it go over so the nation. Okay, it's good to see Fox. Again. Okay. Okay, uh, stream, it was awesome. I have to go. Bye. Sorry, buddy. Speaking of Fox, well, look who it is. Well, look who it is. Well, look who it is. My good friend Fox. Hello, one, two, three. Can people hear me? <laughs> one, two, three. Am I heard? Yes. You're live. Yeah. Hi. Yes. What's up? Uh, uh, I was supposed to do commentary earlier, but something came up, so I covered for someone else, and now I'm back here again by the grace of Uni, I, I guess. Uni bless. Yes. All right. So I seen some of the matches so far. I wasn't like. I didn't like straight up disappear. I was just, I was actually watching the top eight matches. They're, they're pretty good so far. Definitely, it's been an exciting bracket. <clears throat> uh, just gonna keep going strong moving forward. All right, so I think Mika Fono. I think I know who these players are. I just I'm gonna need clarification once it comes up. Yeah, we've seen. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> So we've seen Genesis doing a lot of good work with phone on. Oh, okay, yeah. Genesis DC is probably one of the top, one of the premier phone ons within the U.S. Yeah. Sonic Spear getting the initial hit. And this is where a character like Mika is scary, but Genesis able to block the mix up. Oh no! Wow. Ooh. All right. Gets a whole confirmation to the corner. That's a good grip of damage. Uh, wake up, DP reversal. This is going to do quite a bit. This might just be it. Not yet. Oh. Hey. Hey, it's set up. Did the fake spin into into a command grab afterwards for Needy? We got resets. All right. That's a shield. All right. DC's, uh, Genesis DC is trying to put pressure on so Sonic Spear can't figure out, like, oh, I know what your habits of blocking are. Yeah, this would... You know, normally, you'd think this would be a very difficult matchup for a grappler. A character with these very, very long whip normals, good fireballs. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally, you might be right, but Sonic Sphere has shown that he knows the matchup, knows the things he needs to do to get in. <clears throat> but Genesis uh, responding with EX Missile with Phonon Force Function. Typically, Phonon Force Function is used to, oh my goodness, Assault 4, Jump A, Grid Break. What a mix up. 
and this is going to do enough. I was scared that using only 100 meter wasn't going to be enough. Using those situations, I would just rather you uh, EX, uh, you would rather IW. Spend all your meter, and that way you just right. get a secure kill. Uh, Genesis establishing, establishing he knows his damage very well. Ah. Fortunately, he's about to establish his life in the corner. Good tech. All right, has Whirlpool now, so he can kind of pressure, wait to see what Sonic Spear does. All right, throwing out fireballs, that's fine, that's safe. Hey. Great oh, we got those. All right. All right, he's going to get a knockdown close to the corner. Won't have Whirlpool. Ah, CS2A. Okay. Great buttons. Going to get one more mix-up opportunity. All right, EX. Oh, no. All right, you need to be able to tech those. Yeah. Because it was a yellow grab. It's, it might have counter hit, because if it TRMs, then you can't tech it any after all. But I couldn't see because of the flash there in that situation. Either way, the grab connected, and Sonic Spear is going to go up 1-0. Right. All right, so Genesis DC had a good idea of what he wanted to do, but I think he just kind of flubbed uh, one or two, like, Oki setups, which led him to getting tagged on the way down. Yeah, this is still anyone's game. Genesis starting this round off very strong, putting Mika in the corner, chasing the forward tech, putting Mika back into the corner. Chain shift back in. Oh, the slow, the slow walk up assault. If it was a little bit faster, would have got a punish off the throw with. He was able to maintain corner pressure. Eventually, let's uh, Songster get out, but breaks the grid. Going to get a full conversion. Uh, he also has all his life still, so he doesn't have to worry about any sort of unfortunate circumstances occurring. Or um, unless it's like that wake up 2A right there. Good stuff, Sonic Spear making his way out. Alright, stagger 2A. Ah, uh, ooh! Ooh, that 5BB. Bates the super again. Oh no, that was, uh, drops a confirm off to the 5BB, but gets the EX command grab. Uh, you're not, you're dead? Yeah, this yeah, you is did. gonna do Spin so much damage. 5,000 damage before super. Oh yeah, she was in uh, Vorpal, so she got the 10% uh, damage buff. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Oh, TC kind of hitting wake up spin, it looked like. And I love Phonon's combo routes. Yeah, they're all cool. It's just like, you need to, oh no, you you need to not, you know, your veil offs need to not get baited. That's yeah. what needs to happen. <laughs> it's important. All right, Genesis DC, well, he needs this round to stay in the tournament. All right, just using the damage immediately. 4,000 damage because you're in Veil off. 20% damage buff. Gets the hit. That was good for with the 5B. Oh, Veil off. All right, you can see Genesis. Guard break. Yeah, there we go. But you didn't get a proper confirm afterwards. Oh, and this could just be it. Mm, Sonic's here. Okay, he won't get the meter. Oh, he just got it the last he part of believe. the Yeah. He did uh, not believe in himself. All right. All right, so Genesis DC gets another chance to stay in the tournament. Oh. Yeah, DP. those round start options out of Phonon are so strong. Yeah, because if you try to jump, the DP will check you in the air. Or she can 2C you, or she can even do 5C. Drop kick this ball. Oh, 3C, counter hit confirmed. Let's go. Huge damage. 200 meter as well. All right, have war, but that's what command grab. Spending it. Oh, there it is. And that's if this doesn't drop, that's gonna be it. Chain shift. Yeah, it's over. Like that situation is terrible. It's terrifying because if she has warple and 200 meter, she'll just get a setup where she does a command grab. She, the command grab will do more damage because of the warple, right. and then every subsequent hit afterwards does way more. So now you're just like, wait, I took 4,000 damage. I'm a character that already does a lot of damage this anyway. This character doesn't yeah. do 4,000 damage normally. That's the other thing, too. She's a grappler. You're like, all right. She gets like she maintains like 2.5k average. But when she hits like 3k and up, you're like, wait, I'm dying. Yeah. Wait, I'm dead. What happened? <laughs> What's going on? Where is my life? I need that. No, you don't need to that. To live. No, just don't be a loser side so that way you get another chance. <laughs> don't That's be all. dead. Yeah, exactly. Or get a, get a healer to revive you. To survive Mika, don't die. No, you need a good healer. Just you just can't if you pull if you if you don't pull correctly, I will not heal you. <laughs> That's why I don't play MMOs anymore cuz like most of the time I'm either a healer or a tank and I, everyone's already a tank. So I'm like, "Okay, I'll play healer." But no one 
knows how to pull properly, so I'm just like, I don't do this shit anymore. Yeah, you don't want to roll the designated babysitter. And, like, everyone plays DPS, and you're just like, all right, I guess I can't queue for anything because everyone's <laughs> DPS. I'm talking about you, Final Fantasy fourteen. Anyway, <laughs> I don't play WoW. I, I, the only time I played WoW was back in 2007. When it, no, 2004 when it first dropped for, like, a year, and I was like, this game needs more work. And then, like, I didn't play afterwards, and I was like, wow, I should have been playing when it came out. <laughs> Whoops. Because, like, I remember vividly, like, all my friends were playing, and I was just like, nah, it's, like, too jank in a lot of areas. I was playing fighting games. I couldn't be around for raids. So I was just like, nah, I can't do this. <laughs> and then it turns out, like, oh, oh, right, I see. Fighting uh, games are MMOs, the great conundrum. Yep. And I was just like, oh, I'll play fighting games. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty glad I did. I, I might have turned out differently if I didn't. <laughs> It's, it's for the better. It's for the better, everyone. All right, we have two lane A players. God. The name mirrors. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Lin is a character who generally is very quick. Her damage output can range anywhere from like 2.5 to like 4,000 with the right hit. And, yeah, Kuga. That's what I'm going to say, Kuga. Super Kuga brothers. Sisters. They're sisters. See? <laughs> You're right. All right, Milo starting off with decent pressure, making sure that Ju can't counter poke. And Miller's gonna get started with the aggression. He should get warp pull here. Okay, there you go. Gets tagged by TC though. TC side swap. Not really. Takes out. Spends it, gets a little bit of meter. Oh no! Yeah, grid broken for turn to options like probably. But then Miller did back dash to two B. Because Lene Subi is super fast. Wow. Veil off doesn't want to hold the risk of getting a chain shift DP'd. All right, keep the pressure. Hey, that's a throw. Should win the Warple Cycle. Counter hit 5B. That's going to do enough. Uh, there we go. I was worried that he already used up all his wall and ground slams. Because there's a hard limit to where after you do three, uh, your combo's done. Right. Oh, we got those. All right, Jay, trying to, wow. It's hot. All right, TC, oh, doesn't get the completed combo. Oh my god, that was great. Nice, throw tech at the end. And then 2B, 2C confirmed. All right, this is a game where uh, you can block for a very, very long time. And if you're able to react and tech to grabs, it can be very difficult to open you up. Yes. But Miller, he's getting, he got the confirm there, he gets the first game. Pretty, pretty handily, actually. Miller's showing his dominance as a better Linne player. Or at least better in the mirror. I don't know, like, people who say they're, they're bad at mirror matches, it's just like, you don't understand your own character? Well, there's a big difference between playing a character and playing against a character. I, I agree, but, like, you know what your character does. Like, you know, like, okay, as this, they might do this, this, and this, because I might do this, this, and this. I don't know, it's weird, it's weird. Like, yeah. Ju should, should have probably Kuga'd again, because he knows Miller likes to do 2B as disrespect. Yeah, there we go. Alright, no meter sprint. Throw Good tech. tech. Oh. oh, counter hit. Yeah, Miller is faster with his dash at 5B there. Up. Oh, ADP EX Kuga. Big conversion. Whoa. Oh, normal goes the wrong way. That was really jank. Oh, all right, text after the grab. Forest punch. Jesus. Ju was just like, I don't want to respect whatever <laughs> you're doing. Seems I want this to be done. Yeah, I'm just gonna force punch to kill you. Dash all the way up, 5A from Ju. Sometimes you just gotta believe. And I also believe Miller loves 2B. That's why his name is Miller 2B. <laughs> well, he also played Yosuke uh, in P4U1. <laughs> and, and yeah, Yosuke's 2B in that game was amazing. That move was godlike. Just like how you see Miller using 2B once again here. To get this confirmed. Miller no, sitting on a lot of meter. Oh. Alright, no disrespect from Ju. Just blocking it out. Throw? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! You can if you haven't committed to an action and the DP doesn't hit you, you just use your reversal and you shut down whatever she does in that situation. Yeah. All right, Miller just doing dash for 5A at round start. 
with Ju straight into the corner. Ooh, no respect. Uh, Ju not teching. All you have to do is hold the button in this game. Small amounts of respect. Doesn't want to get reversal. Loses turn. Oh Caution no! Caution pays off for him. Okay, so this game should be over. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, I keep it very simple. The thing was that was kind of. Kind of risky doing the force function because she might have just fell out like prematurely. Uh, and, and I would have yelled at Miller, like, What are you doing? Don't make this combo <laughs> breaker again. Like, you already did that this year. Don't do it again. But he's escaped the repeat. Yeah. The past does not come back to haunt him. Well, the thing was, uh, when he did that in, I think it was in like top 16 at combo breaker. He was supposed to, like, it was supposed to be like, All right, he won. But he did do the right confirm. He pretty much did like EXIW. And it was just like, oh, the character, they had like no health left, and then he lost off that. And then it was pretty sad. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I see footwork up there again. He lost to White Beast, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was looking pretty close, but. Yeah, it was a good match. I saw footwork not doing some, just like checking um, White Beast on like, hey, I have a command grab. I, I have a command grab. <laughs> If, if you're willing to block, I have a command grab. You can't attack this. Do you have to, like, option select jump or right. just, like, flash kick or something? Well, there was a point uh, near the start. or There was a point nearish the start of uh, the last game where White Beast jumped a command grab setup and just killed Gordo from it. Oh, yeah, and I after saw that, that, he was a little antsy about throwing it out as much. Right. Well, the thing is, like... And like you it, can't, you can't let that stop you from using your command exactly, grab. Exactly, because that's the only, like you can't tech it. So the only way to escape is like uh, it does grab limbs sometimes too. So like if you think they're gonna mash, you could kind of just like time it correctly, grab a limb. But we don't want them to say like, okay, I can just sit here and block the reactive yeah, throws or overheads. Right. You want to give them something else to worry about if you have that option. In general, Gordo's throws and overheads are all reactable besides the command grab. So if you don't keep that option on the table. But you just kind of block. It's scary and it sucks, but you can block him for a really, really long, long time. time. Right. And then you gain warp and then you can kind of do what you need to do. Right. You get 12 grid diamonds, and then you change shift DP <laughs> once, and then you have 200 meter, and Gordo's not feeling so hot after that. I've actually not seen anyone get 12 grid blocks in this game yet. I've seen like 11 or 10, but I'm like, oh, that's a lot. That's a reasonable amount. <laughs> like, that means you've been shielding properly and blocking Shield properly. That's good. Cool. We're gonna have Mika against Gordo. All right, so Sonic Spear up once again. Good work. Probably took some time to think about his last match. He looks a little bit more calm. Uh, Walking kind of patiently, which is a it's a good attribute for Gordo because then you get Vorpal and you have uh, yeah, we have Wake Up Two. Right. All right, good staggers. Oh, the disrespect, but the trade is in Footwork's favor. Oh, Ooh. it's antsy. Alright, gets a knockdown. Set up. Oh! Good match. They missed time to TC. Can't do that. Blocks the setup. Jump back, jump C. Oh, you gotta attack okay. those! You got like 20 something frames to attack those. I think it's 27, 28. Doesn't quite finish her off, but that's gonna do it. Yep. I guess Footwork wasn't sure if we should use Mia there or not. Oh my god, Grim Reaper. Dash C. I love that normal. Big conversion. Uh, Mortal Slide doesn't tech the... Oh, okay. Does tech it's the... Tech. Uh, like Backs that. off. Afraid of uh, metered reversal options. But gets tagged anyway by Grim Reaper. Simulation. Set up. Oh, just goes back to blocking the shielding. Alright, Sonic Spear got hit by the overhead. Yeah, this would be it. Yeah. He actually could have kept that a lot cleaner by doing a combo that let him do, like, I don't know, helicopter into cross veil off into, like, IW. Because I thought that would have dropped after the CS, that's why. But he, did what he, uh, he did what he was comfortable with. It connected, and it got him the game. Yeah. Oh, dash B, get blown up. See if Sonic Spirit can get something started this round. All right. Oh, very ambiguous cross on Yeah, like he walked back a little bit and he saw Footwork Tech. He was like, all right, I'm just gonna see what you how you block this. 
Hex the very first grab. Oh no, some waste of time. Wow! Oh, doesn't block his head. Well, Wake Up Assault is one of the slower options you can do, so you don't expect it to be good. Right. right. Alright, this round should be over to provide a sound yeah. of fear, gets the right confirmed, still meter. Does everything he can to try not to, but eventually in the end he's forced to spend the bar. Well, he tried to like... He yeah, he tried to change it to extend it, maybe kill without it, but he had to super. Okay, right, block. Oh no, he gets hit by 2-2-B. 3-C. Assimilation. Mix up. Woo! No button for oh, you. Oh no. Doesn't get the proper confirm though. Sonic Spear. Trying to block it out. He gets hit by 5-A. It takes a big risk and gets punished for it. Not dead. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah. It's like you could have did a, a better like oh, open. No, it doesn't tech the gold grab. Alright. You might you might lose off that. <laughs> Grim Reaper. Alright, okay. That was okay because he had meter to EX Mortal right. Slide. At first. Alright, so footwork. Just on like that. that. Match point. Good up back to block everything correctly. Oh no, Mika Kafka, he's spinning. Gonna take him all the way to the corner. Mix up, staggers. Ah. Hey, Ooh. I like footwork doing 5A, 5B, 5A, 5B wait. It checks to see if you're trying to jump or backdash. And Sonic Spears taking the bait. Oh, Rusty Knit. Oh, you did. Right? Yeah, this should do enough, assuming no drops. Oh. Okay, there Man. you go, there you go. I don't know if Footwork knows Eunice Veil Off, Cross Veil Off confirms. Because typically in those situations you do Cross Veil Off. Right. It, <laughs> you, you essentially net one extra super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's all like, it's all Veil Off meter. Right. And you just like, you do a you super, do, a do super, do X, I, W. That's it. And depending on the character, you can get more or less. Like some characters can only get one, one. super. Yeah. But essentially, no matter what, you're getting at least 150 meter out of 100 meter if you go for those confirms. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I see we have winner's finals. It should be three out of five. Yeah, it should be yeah. three out of five. So it's going to be... Uh, Getting to the end here. Uh, I know. White Beast Woop Boost. Wait, what? Woop Boost. Woop Boost? Woop Boost. Woop Boost? Woop Boost. Woop Boost? So Marion's gone. I got to keep... The dream alive. A boot boost? Woot boost. What's woot boost? Uh, that is the player on the left here, White Beast, aka Woot Boost. Woot boost. Oh, I got it. I think I got it. Woot <laughs> boost. boost. And on the left, we have, well, on our left, yeah. we have um, Super Not. Science Bobby Booster, aka. A, uh, what, what was it? I forgot what he's his gone, name Yeah, he's gone by a lot of names. I know him as Giuseppe. Yeah, Giuseppe is the, uh... It's like the overall, like, right. that's his name. Right. Giuseppe's his name. So we, we've been memeing a lot. Guy in pink, white beast. Guy in brown, Giuseppe. There we go. <laughs> uh, we'll go back to calling them the wrong names forever after this, but at sure. least once we got to set the record straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have some fun. All right, winners finals. Three out of five. Let's go. Matisse versus Gordo. All right, so Bobby Boucher, he... He's known as probably the most patient, one of the most patient players. Yeah, Giuseppe's the, defense is unbelievable. Yeah, in the uni scene. Oh, in any game, practically. And I, it's often said that strong defense will win you lots of games in Eunice, just based off that. Yeah, it's very big. Eunice is a pretty defensive game overall. Yeah. And you get a lot of rewards for having good defense. You build a lot of meter, you win on grid. Like, the rewards for having good defense are much higher in units than in a lot of other games. Yes. All right. You can see that White Beast Mass is going to confirm. As it's up here in the corner, we'll yes. the crystal. And uh, White Beast did beat Footwork's Gordo earlier, yes. so. Oh, so yes. That's good tech. Ooh, just walking backwards high, not even attempting to do Grim Reaper. Sets the diamond. That's one thing. Being very patient against Batista allows her to get a somewhat safe, a fake diamond setup, but if you're not going to get opened up by them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right. And Giuseppe with great reactions to that instant overhead shield and gets a punish with the 2B earlier. 
Oh, gets lucky. Three C doesn't get punished. Oh, it's counter hit. That's counter hit two B as well. She gets quite a bit of damage off that. Yeah, when you're gonna delay a normal against a player like a Giuseppe, you can't just delay it for a frame. You delay it for a whole second. <laughs> That's how you get the counter hit. Yeah, you have. Uh, they're not even frame traps. They're just. Uh, hey, I need you to not block this yeah. anymore. <laughs> All right, so just something should win the warp was like here. There it is. Ah, I guess tag by 5C. Oh, blocks across up jump C. Yeah, you can see just something just like waiting. White Beast is delaying for such a long time trying yeah. to wait for him to uh. Oh, he, he's waiting for Giuseppe to react to the situation and say, oh, he's not pressing, he's the, pressing button. the button. Right. That's when he's pressing it. All right, Giuseppe back dash. Oh, he misses his throw. And that could be huge. He could just be dead. Oh, uh, he should be dead. Yeah, yeah there we spending go. the bar. Spin meter. Make it easy. If you don't think your normal combo is going to kill, spin meter, everyone. Please, for the love of God, spin meter. This <laughs> game gives it to you for free, practically. I'm sorry, Grim Reaper. Doesn't spend the bar. All right, Mortis Slide. Gets away from the 2C. Oh, wow. Oh, just, heck, very rare. Yeah. Anytime I see Giuseppe not tech a throw, I'm just like, wait, was he asleep? What yeah, happened? it's more surprising than the alternative. Oh, gets the overhead, but too far for the follow-up. All right, Giuseppe just chilling, making sure that White Beast can't get grid. Oh, he won it. But he goes back to the block, which is fine for him. I, I like that choice by White Beast. Recognized he wasn't going to win the grid war, so instead uh, took the opportunity to be on the offensive. Right. You see Giuseppe just willing to block where he gets... Oh, Grim Reaper hit it correctly. But then he got the Warple Cycle again. And he got another Grim Reaper. This is big. 200 meter. Oh, no. What a drop. All right. So, unfortunately for Giuseppe, this setup could lead to his... Woo, he blocked it. Wow. Most people don't block cross up sign explosion like that. Or <laughs> Tech the grab twice. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, do you know who I am? All right. No shielding, just holds the grid. Yeah, Giuseppe's just waiting to win the warp right there. There's those techs. And there's the anti Grim Reaper. Game one goes to Giuseppe. Or Bob Booster. <laughs> or Gorilla Gilly Team. That was his other name. <laughs> AKA. AKA Bobby Booster. AKA, AKA Gorilla Gilly Team. AKA Giuseppe. AKA I'm pretty Big sure Daddy Pops in the future. <laughs> Probably, maybe. <laughs> I, I can't see the. If I could see the future, I would have won the lotto already. <laughs> I would. I would not be here if I won the lotto. Well, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I can't. I can't see the future in all aspects. Uh, if I won the lotto, I would definitely be here. I would be at a lot more majors. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yes, I need to occupy my time with all my money, <laughs> so I don't make stupid decisions. I, I don't know. Giuseppe wins Whirlpool again. Yeah, he's just willing to sit full screen. He has a life lead. He doesn't have to do anything except use his warp pull there. Run up the man grab. Ah, White Beast not blocking low. Yes, first hit of two C is low for whatever reason. What a normal. Like, it starts up low, and then it goes all the way to the top of the sky. You're like, what's going on here? Yeah, Giuseppe so. just being patient again. Yeah, no reason to take any risks. But he's winning. He did. Oh, okay, he got TRM. That's all the red there. Backdash is the diamond. Yep. He's not going to win Warple this time, so he just uses it and wins the round. God. All right, Giuseppe, I get it. <laughs> You're good at this game. Gosh. I think he's going to climax tonight. I can't remember. Man, that round started at 98 seconds. Yeah. A really good, a lot of really good uni sets do usually are long as hell. Yeah. Like, you know how Dragon Ball is wrong for the wrong, long for the wrong reasons? I feel like uni is long for the right reasons. Absolutely. Somebody put that on the shirt. <laughs> long for the right reasons. Not, maybe not out of context. Not like out of context, that. yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, okay, get sniped. All right, now just like he has a life deficit, but he's willing to wait. He wants to see what White Beast is going to do while he's just killing full screen with Warple. And uh, what he's going to do is uh, continue to chill full screen with Warple. Yeah. I mean, his life deficit isn't, like, horrendous because he got hit. And his patience pays off. All right, it's about even. A little bit in Giuseppe's favor. Good staggers. Oh, no throw tech. 
every time I see Giuseppe not take a throw, I'm, I'm just flawless. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> oh, we tried to win Punisher for Reaper. Oh, he doesn't have Warpo anymore. Yeah, Giuseppe, yeah he's just yeah. trying to get a lead. Giuseppe at the point where now he's uh, forced to take action. He has to. If he wants to win this round, yes. But he's just kind of like, yes. Yeah, yeah he lost. recognizes it. All right, good stuff for White Beast. <laughs> round start EX Laser. Did less damage than one hit Grim Reaper. That's hilarious. All right, you can see Giuseppe was noticing, like, okay, you had that sign there. I'm not going to chill over there. And instead gets a counter. Normal hit 3C, excuse me. Stagger? Hey, not ready for the throw. Mm -mm. So much damage. All right, good staggers. White Beast is walking low, but not getting any. Oh, dash C confirmed. Let's go. This does so much. She always gets so much damage off of, like, nothing. Like, this two-way starter, she's probably going <laughs> to... Oh, well, she would have got, like, 3K if White Beast didn't drop the combo. It's okay, though. Oh, no, counter hit. Giuseppe's trying to opposite select. like... It's going to hurt. Well, even a drop combo is still 3,000 yes. damage. Cash up. Ooh, wait. Hey, throw attack. Keeps his turn by using chain shift. All right. Yeah, white piece has a life lead, but it's not that significant. Yeah, you can see Giuseppe waiting. Gets it, takes his turn back. Well, the timer is taken down, and it's the same situation as before. That even with a minor life. Oh, no! He saw Batista, like, move her hand, and he did... Get off me! <laughs> the best use for Charge Veil Off. That shit is so cool. Like, the thing is, Charge Veil Off is bad in like 90% of the It is bad thing. for 98 seconds of the round. And then, but in those last two <laughs> seconds, it's like, when you have a life lead, it's the best move in the game. Mostly because it's like you can't be targeted, and you're just like, all right, you can't hit me, you can't hit me. I'm good. <laughs> I love it. All right, so Giuseppe on um, match point over here. Oh, anti-air 2C, no confirm. Gold throw does not get text. People just pressing buttons out here. Out here in the mean streets of Detroit, we're pressing buttons. We're blocking overheads. All right, so White Beast got a dash C confirm. I know I say Medusa does a lot of damage off nothing, but like she does a lot of damage off nothing. Yeah. All right, Giuseppe has Warpal though, so... We should, we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. CS? Yes. Oh, just try to get a normal throw. Oh, this round should be over? Yeah. Hey, there you go, White Beast. The On the board. The problem with fighting Giuseppe is you don't, like, most people don't know how to deal with super patient players. So they, they overextend themselves, and Giuseppe is just like, okay, I, I know what to do here when you do this. Mentally, it's taxing. It's hard to play against someone and just feel like you're getting walled out for so long. People because they're get antsy, doing... they take risky moves, and that's when Giuseppe just starts taking full advantage of it. Yeah. Wow. Like, being willy, willing to play defensive for such a long time is a skill, but another skill is being willing to play against that and not lose your composure. Right. Because you still need to, like, you still need to approach someone. You still... You still need to manage to get a life lead, so that way you can now see how they're forced to play against that. But Giuseppe gets a hit with Grim Reaper CS. That's a lot of damage! Charge to see. Alright, mix up. Uh, just wants to get Vorpal, but loses it. Throw doesn't get tech again. Yeah, Giuseppe just chilling. He's just like, alright, I need to win Vorpal so you can't win. Oh, does not tech it. All right, this is Giuseppe's last chance this round. No way, it's higher. Oh my god. He gets it at the last possible second. I thought that 2C was going to hit him. I would have been so sad. I'm like, oh my god, gloss. Yeah, playing against someone who is willing to sit full screen at a 50% uh, life deficit with 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, you, you get confused, like, wait. This is a trick. I'm going to run at you. Then you learn, like, wait, the trick was me running at them. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. So White Beast has... Oh, 
Uh, once again, a small life lead, but Giuseppe manages to get a hit with a rusty nail. He gets hit by 2 2 A. Oh, good shield, good punish. Gets a grip of damage into a setup. All right, CS. Ooh, doesn't press any other buttons. Yeah, you can see Giuseppe just waiting to get Vorpal back. Just willing to sit full screen. Right, even at a deficit, he knows that uh, he's going to get the resources. But once he starts getting challenged for grid, then he's like, all right, I'll move. You got me. Right. Please don't make me fight for grid. All right, so hit with Grim Reaper. Oh, no, he drops it, though. Oh. Text bro. That I, every time I see the low shield, I get nervous. Whoa! Whoa, Giuseppe! Wow. Come on, Giuseppe, stop being a jerk. Just kill him. Kill me! Kill me! I'm right here! All right, so Giuseppe takes a 3-0. I mean, Bobby Boucher. I mean, Guillotine Gorilla. Man, double timeout as well. See, the thing is, timeouts in Eunice are not as bad as timeouts in uh, Dragon Ball. Right, but uh, there's still a feeling behind it of just getting walled out the entire game. Not be, like, everything you're doing doesn't work. It's like, no, right. no, no, no. This is a big wall of no. Like, when you lose to a timeout once in a while, you don't really feel that way. Well, when a player is able to consistently do it as a strategy, it can feel so impenetrable. Well, it depends on how you feel as a person, because I know a lot of people are like, yeah, whatever, I got timed out. But I know a lot of people are like, time out? Puh. You're not playing the game. Only, only a coward runs for <laughs> 98 seconds and then tries to hit me once. But hey, if that coward gets a, that big W at the end of the day, it was the right choice. I'll be, a, I'll be a winning coward. Right. There's no such thing as cowardice. There's no such thing as cheating. People call it's it all that strategy. Thing. People call strategy cheating when it's like. It's a, if the choice works yeah. over a long period of time, I'm going to keep doing it. Yep. There's proven results. And, like, results, obviously results also aren't the be-all, end-all. Like, something can work and still be a bad choice. Yes, but yes. over a long period of time and many matches, if a con strategy consistently does well against very strong players, it's probably just a good strategy, regardless about how you feel it is uh, ethically at the end of the day. And, again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just something not many people are able to do and right. not many people are willing to do. Yes. All right, so this should be losing. Yes, we lose the semis. Miller versus Footwork. Oh, all right. Footwork's managing to maneuver around, not the force function. Eating this confirms. Miller's going to put him a big screen, unfortunately. It's, definitely, it's interesting to see uh, after Giuseppe, a Gordo who will... Uh, Mortal slide three times from full screen. It's such a difference. I mean, I think it's just it's just Giuseppe in general. Oh, who doesn't punish some 5C whip? All right, footwork has Whirlpool. There's a chain shift. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Is that a bait? Someone help. He's done it quite a few times tonight. It must be a bait. He must want you to press buttons. Hey, There's some intention behind it. I hope so. All right, round two. Oh, <laughs> just tag. Oh my God! I mean, I, you had me there. Yeah, I understand that. You got it. You got it. Please. <laughs> Drops to the next Grim Reaper. Doesn't punish the run after the Kuga. Oh, guard thrust. Get off me. Oh, Ooh, counter, counter hit. hit. All right. So you get a knockdown here with Vorpal. I wonder if Miller's going to check the uh, blocks shielding of habits. Oh, does not attack the grab. Yeah, Miller's just playing foot. Whoa! <laughs> Double Kuga. Damn, Miller. Taking the first game just like that. That, that, that walk back and forth, wait to see a button. Kuga into EX Kuga. Whew. Beautiful. Yeah, that's footsies. That's footsies right there. Italian chef kissing his fingers. It's beautiful. <laughs> Fire emoji. 100 <laughs> emoji. Uh, what's the next emoji you put next Another to Another 100 emoji. emoji yeah. A third 100 emoji. You just put, put And like then the B emoji for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game two. 
So Footwork went back to character select screen and think a little bit. Which is smart because he got too old in that first game. But right now, Mill is about to win Warple. Oh no, it gets a TC confirmed. Wow. Just run all the way up, get a 5A. Ooh, big slide. He just did TC out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, this is a man who loves to slide. Well, I guess Gordo looks like the type of guy who would just like to slide around. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure. All right, Miller got a counter hit in between the Grim Reaper. I mean, slides himself. He has mortal slide. He named a move after sliding. That's, that's true, yeah. Well, you are correct. A <laughs> assault jump ACS. That move, that's cheap. Can't react to that. Well, <laughs> it's hard to react to it. Miller on match point. Trying to take the grid. Oh, it's attack. He's gonna get a lot of grid from the cycle. Oh, he got the counter hit. Jump asshole. Oh, uh, he dropped it. It's fine, though. It might not be fine. I might have lied. All right. Wake, wake up, change, up change shift. No, oh, just no. Scoop. All right. Look close to the corner. Ah, oh, there's the bell off. And he, oh my God, he tried to, he tried to, I was just like, bro. <laughs> Everyone's grid is broken. No grid for anyone. But work gets it back first. All right, but Miller gets to confirm. He has to worry about footwork to wake up chain shift here. There it is. There it is. Spin meter, yep. Gotta make that safe. Keep pressure. Grim Reaper, yep. Keep it safe. Yeah, footwork wants to try to win this round. It's like really bad. Oh no, Charles over it. This round's over. Uh, that's a dead line. I, I was kind of, I was really worried that that confirm at the end was not gonna pick up. Oh no! All right, go get set. Overhead does not get blocked. Okay. Ooh, that looks kind of jank. Yeah, yep, shields most of it. Counter hit 2C. But we're trying to do walk up to uh, control, it looks like. There's the grab. Blocks overhead. Oh, blocks the low out of the option. That was a good block. That was very tricky. Except he got counter hit right there. Pressing buttons at the vision. All right, last chance. Ooh, change your press buttons. But we're trying to make the most out of this turn. Oh my god! Oh no punish, just out of range. Oh, trade! Miller's st Oh, let's go! Alright, Bullwark's still trying to stay in there. Oh my god, wake up to be. And then roll through 5A! No! And just like that, Bullwark's run is over. Fourth place, that's pretty good. Man, it's crazy how fast this game can be and how slow this game can be. Yeah, well, uh, the pacing is very uh, aesthetic. Because a lot of people are like, I like right. fast fighting games. A lot of people are like, I like kind of slower paced fighting games. Well, you can make this game whichever type you like. You have the power to make that decision. But you need to have, like, most people don't have that innate ability. They're just like, hey, I kind of want to press buttons, but I don't know if I want to get go against my instincts. Because <laughs> a lot of people, when they play fighting games, their instincts are like, I'm pressing buttons, you can't stop me. <laughs> No! No! I'm gonna mash. It is my God-given right yeah. to press 5A. Well, mm, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that. I want to say, like, you have the ability to press 5A. I don't know if someone told you you should. There's a huge <laughs> difference. It is an ethical imperative that I press this button there right you go. now. There you go. I like that. I like that. Or I will never be free from myself. I mean, you'll be free, but you'll be dead. <laughs> you'll be one kind of free, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, press buttons responsibly, everybody. <laughs> this has been a PSA. There's a lot of good fighting game quotes that you could just use as, as like, uh, memorabilia and put it on shirts and stuff, like, press buttons responsibly, um, don't mash, mashing is for losers, <laughs> things like that. Consider blocking. Yes, yes. Or those FBI, uh, you know those old uh, like Neo Geo games and those like old 
uh, uh, oh yeah, the sur not the Surgeon General, but the uh, the FBI warning yes, at the yes, beginning. Yes, 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 that's perfect, it's perfect. Just a big splash screen, big blue screen with considered blocking in white text. Or, or something, like, uh, someone can figure out all the text that's supposed and to be there. A, a government logo on it. Just the UPS logo, I don't <laughs> care. All right, so Miller has a commanding lead in the first get round of Lucis Finals. White Beast, oh, doesn't block the, oh. Doesn't block the assault jump A and didn't take the throw. Wow, that round start from Miller was really strong. He got a cold confirm, got a, ton, a good chunk of grid. The white piece is going in now, just forcing Miller to block stuff. Wow! That was a... I guess Miller really wants to keep his turn. Staggers. Doesn't tech. Counter hit by the grab. I saw jump C, nothing. Oh my, that 2B hit from so far! Alright. What? Hey. Force function. Oh it's no! I mean, Lina can't, I'm not Lina. Batista can't be counter hit, but yeah, Bill's got these. And this is loser's final, so it's going to be three out of five. Uh, uh, Miller, do the right combo. <laughs> Miller, please, do the right combo. Stop that. All right, all right. It happened again. Well, uh, kind of, almost. Kind of. It could have got there. It, it didn't all the way happen, but. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's odd. I've never seen that drop before like that. There's a first time for everything. Yeah. I guess I'll figure that out later. All right, so White Beast now deciding to go in a little bit more, but Miller is still like, hey, my Wake Up 2A is still better than your uh, Oki. All right, we got throw attack. Oh, my God, Miller was so lucky he didn't get grid broken. All right, there we go. I was wondering why White Beast didn't side swap, but decided to take the corner anyways. Laser. Laser. Going all in on the zoning. Forcing Miller 2B to be the one to approach. All right, Luck Lead is a little bit in White Beast's favor, so Miller has to be careful about eating stray lasers and projectiles. Oh my god, a reset. I don't know if that was intentional or not. If it was, great. If it wasn't, good situational awareness. <laughs> oh, 5A nothing. All right, pressure. Kuga. Running in after Kuga. I mean, that, that that will get you killed by wake up. Yeah, by just 2A. Yes. All right, shield. Ah! YB's dashing up to see if Miller's uh, option selected throw. But Miller has a life lead. There's eight seconds left. Wait, why are you charging? Oh, my God, Kuga. In three seconds. See, the, I, I, yes. I bet you most people aren't even looking at the clock anymore because the matches are just so, like, laser-focused. <laughs> They're like, wait, there's a timer. Damn it. But it's something you've got to keep consideration of, especially at this level. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Stop that. Oh, they look got those. Nice side clock. Gonna put White Beast back in the corner. Wake up Dash C after this chain shift. Oh no! Then empty jump gets blocked. A little late on the two A. Nice. See, that's why his name is Miller Two B, because <laughs> like his success rate for pressing Two B and getting a hit is like eighty percent. So when you you do a, something good eighty percent of the time, I guess it should be part of your name. <laughs> like if you do DPs eighty percent of the time, your name should be blank DP. Oh, rolls through, gets the hit. That works so often. I mean, I would get hit by it too, but like, <laughs> like I, my point is like, it works a lot when it really should. Ooh, DP and just two beams to take the round. Miller trying to get in there immediately. Wants to win game two as fast as possible. Ooh, tries to get a 5B. So it does not get tech. Ah, Amari 2A. Blocks the setup. 
Wow, walk. Well, the overhead didn't hit, but Miller didn't get hit after. Good or super. Yep. So now White Beast is going to create like a small wall. Oh, there's a good break. Oh, that was the first disrespectful bad kick I've seen Miller do so far in top eight. Flash kick. Nice. Change of DP. The classic. Well, for this game, anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. We still have to block that explosion. All right, Miller trying to get in there, get something started. Ooh. White Beast has a lot of meter, though. Any stray hit. Uh, oh, oh, no. no. Why right, do I open my mouth? Well, Miller's about to win Vorpal, so let's see what happens. Yeah. White Beast can just... Ooh. It catches. What a starter. Uh, all right. He gets Oki here, but he has to be careful about what he does. All right. Kuga. She's a turn. Assault jump A. Throw attack. Attack. Now White Beast has warp, but this is terrible for Miller. And now he has to try to run in full screen after getting chipped. Just chipping him enough to... Oh, oh no! Three seconds on the clock, and, and this will do it. You cannot challenge the set play orb. 1-1. <laughs> one, one. All right, let's look the White Beast. <clears throat> Alright, game three. Great start for White Beast. I'm surprised that hit, but I guess he gets the corner carry. And Miller's just like, I'm pressing 2A, not 2B. That's the mix up. <laughs> ha! <laughs> They'll never expect it. Alright, you can see Miller waiting to see how White Beast is going to challenge his buttons. Oh, flash hit. Shield? Yep. Miller doesn't get Warpo this turn. Oh, almost got a confirm from the dash through 5A. Just a little bit too far, though. But this, this is a confirm. All right. Just flash kick. Once again, chain shift DP. Yep. Regaining the life lead. Making it Miller's obligation to find a way in. Oh, my God, that dive kick. It looked like White Beast was trying to anti-air with yeah, 5A or something. It, it looked like uh, maybe the flash kick wasn't charged enough yet. Right, 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 right. Well, White Beast gets a EX a DP from Miller. Not Doesn't quite kill. enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. He tried to jump in, got Good reaction. force function anti-air. Oh, gets hit by jump C, no confirm. Miller just waiting for his, oh my god, that was supposed to be Kuga. I'm 100% certain that was supposed to be Kuga. <laughs> He's gonna eat a big punish for his error. That's a throw, oh my god. All right, White Beast has a huge life lead now. Oh, and this round should be over, provided White Beast tries to go for the hard confirm. Nope, he takes a better not setup. to spend the meter. Yeah. Wants to leverage his huge life lead. Oh my god. All right, White Beast shielded correctly there and stole Warple back immediately. He's going to take the round with the EX flash kick. Yep. 1-1. One, one. Miller sitting on full meter. Oh, no confirm. That dash under. Well, Miller just trying to, like, get a full screen hit somehow. Weaves his way through the projectiles, baits the DP, and now Miller's taking his turn. Spend meter. Yep, there we go. Mail also, he keeps Warpool. He has a better lead, but he has to be careful about... He does get the hit. He's going to spend it. Nope. Not quite. Runs out at the last frame. Ooh, that was pussy. Miller can't kill here, but he still has the advantage. Uh, he's going to get a lot. Ooh, he doesn't change it. Yeah, you don't get the meter fast enough in order to do the EX afterwards. Oh, my God, Miller. What was that? He played footsies with Batista White 2 a, 2C. Visibly recoiling in 2C. It's, it's, it's like White Beast did 2C, and Miller was at the he was at the distance where 2C would just whip, and he could just press uh, 6, I think it's 6B, and it hit, and I was like, wait, that hit. I thought it was going to whip. I thought it was too far. The footsiest of footsies. I mean, the feetsies. Feetsies, yeah, feetsies. Yeah. All right, so Miller looking, he's looking strong. This is what I like to see because next week is uh, Climax of Night, and I think he's going to be there. 
most of the strong players in the in, from the U.S. will be there. Yeah, Climax of Night is big. If you're watching right now and you're enjoying it, maybe you haven't watched Eunice before, yep. Climax of Night is the tournament that you're going to want to make time for. I mean, we said that for every other Eunice tournament in like the last three. And it's still true. It's still true, yeah. All right, White Beast, White Beast gets confirmed. Oh, counter hit 2C, nothing. Oh. No, Playing no. it safe behind the diamond. Yeah, because like you at that point, if she hits a diamond and it explodes and you trade, it always trades in Batista's favor. Right. Oh, all right, gets to the other side, side swaps. Taking grid as well. All right, so now Miller has more pull. He should be able to. Uh, all right, staggers. No throw? Okay. Ah, there we go. White Good Beast match. Takes, yeah, he takes his turn back. Takes grid as well. Miller not finding an opportunity. Hey, base the veil off. Uh-oh. Oh. This is going to do it. It does not do it. All right, so Miller's just going to go in with the meter he has. That flash kick, the EX flash kick looks like it's never going to hit, but it like <laughs> all he needs to do is hit twice to get the whole full pickup. It goes so far. Yeah. All right, there we go. Shield. Miller trying to score a 2C or a 2B. All right, both players just dodging around each other. Flash kick. Good stuff. Go attack. You can see Miller being a little bit more reserved now, trying not to run into, like, any important Batista buttons. Yeah. At the life deficit around down, you gotta be careful. Yep. Uh oh. CS, EX, DP. Miller 2B taking back the turn, does not get grid though, so has to play a little more respectfully. Gets the hit. Ah, uh, wasn't able to land and recover yeah. in blocking time. That's exactly what we were talking about. When that chain shift is represented, if you don't play a little more conservatively, that sort of stuff can happen to you. Right. But usually you don't want to lose your whole turn because you decided to block. That's, that's another thing. Oh my god, jump back, jump seed from White Beast. Ooh. Wow, what a reaction. 2-2. Two, two. It all comes down to this. That, that was, White Beast looked a lot cleaner in game four. Was able to realize like, hey, I don't need to press these buttons here. I can let you run into a couple of lasers. It'll be okay. Yeah. He took 30 seconds between rounds to kind of center himself. Yeah. Collect his thoughts and it paid off. Great. Ooh. Hey, all right, good punish on that. That's how, if you ever block lean A projectile and she runs forward like that, you usually can mash 2A on the run. All right, you see Miller trying to navigate through some projectiles. Trade. Hey, gets nice. Counter hit C oh no! Back to full screen, dive kicks over the gem. Alright, gonna check out, run up for it. Back to zoning. Alright, Miller has Warpal now, text the throw. Wow. That anti-air from that high? He's gonna get that big confirm again. Throwing out Pugas. Oh, 5C. Uh, Miller doesn't have a lot of time, so. And also, White Beast has yeah. Whirlpool. How to approach a girl when she's holding down back and has an invincible flash game. And has chain shift. You gotta remember the chain shift part. <laughs> Alright, so Miller, he has to do a lot of work within like 15 seconds, yeah. Yeah. And White Beast just wants to do jump back, jump C. Take any trade. Round start beam. Oh no, that's back. Miller tried to challenge, but Beam is not, it's not unsafe. Nope. Oh my god, he got clipped by one hit of Jump C, and now there's a full confirm from White Beast. This is looking scary for Miller to be. Oh no, bro. No wake up CS. Oh, White Beast just presses 2A there. All right, okay, good. Miller recognizes that White Beast is going to jump back and meets him in the air with Jump A. Oh, Little bit out of range. Change of feet, he comes out. All right, Mujin, no shield. Wow, 5A disrespect. The dive kick. 
Uh, you can see White Beast, White Beast is chilling, just like, hey, you got to do something to me now. Oh, my God. And that does it. That's unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Miller was going to pop out and, like, get pressure again or something, but it just no, – Right into the fireball. Yeah, it, was just a, it was all planned. That combo was all planned. White Beast was so ready for him to jump there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good. He made the adaption earlier in the set, too. Well, not earlier, but, like, after game four. Like, during game four, White Beast made the adaption of, all right, Miller's just going to kind of, like – jump here and disrespect me here, so I'm going to CS and I'll be able to press buttons here and here. Right, and that adaptation got him so much mileage. Yeah, because it looked like he was going to lose a set 2-1 two, two at one point. I really think uh, taking that time to collect himself was what did it. Yep. I absolutely think that that was the, the best choice he could have made. Yes. And now we have... He gets his run back. Yeah, with this winning final run back. So it is... White Beast versus Giuseppe. Giuseppe, a.k.a. Bobby Boucher, a.k.a. Guillotine Gorilla. <laughs> Someone give me some other a.k.a.s for him. Nah. Yeah. And I'll say them. I, I, I got this. I got this. So, I know what we were talking about earlier that uh, Giuseppe's play style is the kind of thing that a lot of people get frustrated with. I really like that play style. Yeah, because like, it's I like... I really respect it, and it's something that I wish I could do. I'm not capable of playing a game that way. Just, just like, just like, like, okay. Oh, well, it's because I've been playing fighting games for so long. I kind of, I understand when, when the the right thing to do is, if you don't have to do anything, do nothing. Right, but that is, it's actually taxing mentally to play that way. Right. Like, to have the confidence in yourself that I will never make the mistake. I will never have my guard cracked. Right. I believe in myself enough to do this. That... I got mad respect for that. You gotta have strong mental, strong mental. And All right. With that being said, White Beast has gotta figure something out. Well, he has more enough time here. So, Grand Finals, White Beast is a loser. Bobby Boucher, AKA Giuseppe, AKA Guillotine Gorilla, is the winner side. AKA the Big Bopper. Big Bopper. Hmm. We'll work on that. CS. No, oh, oh, doesn't need CS because Giuseppe still wins Warpool. <laughs> Real bully hours. Real bully hours. There we go. Get him, White Beast. And again, even though uh, you know that was 5C, 5L over and over, it's the exact same mentality of I'm going to do this until you make me stop. Yep. Like the difference between blocking full screen until you open me up and 5C, 5A until you make me stop is insubstantial in the grand scheme of things. It is the same mentality and the same overall gameplay. All right, so life is relatively even. There's nine, 18 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. All right, so White Beast gets a hit with a laser. It's still full screen again. So now White Beast can just chill, not have to worry about anything. The CS, all right, Giuseppe. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And he's just going to IW so he can get the damage and freeze the clock. And now he's just going to walk back slowly full screen. Yep. That was, all right, the thing is, that was the first overhead I've seen him do in this whole top eight. And it worked. And I'm just like, okay. okay. Saving that one for a rainy day. Hey, I like this. But Giuseppe's not winning. Oh, he's going to charge to the last second. Oh, no. I guess he tried to shield the 2A so he could get Vorpal, but then he just got thrown. All right, so Giuseppe has to block all this. And he's not going to have Warpole again for this cycle either. The White Beast utilizing his life lead. Oh, God. Why are you right next to Giuseppe for? That's not what Matisse is good at. I mean, she's kind of good at that. I'm not going to lie. All right. There, there we go. But this is what you don't want. And it's uh, exactly what you were talking about earlier, willing to wait there until he gets changed it and then make his move with that free rapid cancel. Yes. All right, second throw does not get tacked. It's a yellow grab. Oh, you're dead. You're not dead. I'm just joking. All right, Giuseppe's just going to do nothing for like a while. Yeah, he can eat that throw. It's fine. <laughs> Slowly walk up grab. Hey, anti-throw OS. Or I should say that's just throw OS. Right. You do 2C. Oh, thank you. Ah. We are provided water by the graceful Mr. Yusuk. If you ever go to any Midwest tournaments, I, uh, 
I guess some East Coast tournaments too. Yeah, his name is a huge misnomer because he definitely doesn't suck. No, Mr. You suck is very great. No, it's Mr. You suck. I, I, that's, that's how I think of the name. He's been playing me the whole time. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I love Jay. Jay's great. Same. Shout out to Jay. He puts in so much work. He's been working so hard today. He, put, he puts in way too much work. P people don't deserve this. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so White Beast has a light fleet, but doesn't have Vorpal. And there you go, full screen again. Trying to steal back the Vorpal. And the winner is Giuseppe. Now, we sit here and do this again. Yeah, Giuseppe knows his ranges. He wants to know if White Beast knows his. Oh my god, wake up TC. Probably a uh, throw, throw us. Right. Such a strong move. Ooh, almost got to confirm. Wow, that flash. Okay, White Beast, all right. All right, Giuseppe says, whoop. Oh, this is she. Where's it confirmed? 17 seconds on the clock, though. Not going to move back in. Wow, he blocked that. Okay, no punish. Throw attack. Yeah, Giuseppe's being a bully. Yeah, Giuseppe's being a bully. Whatever, I'll yeah, take he, that, though. He strongly believes he is not going to get opened up, and he was correct. Yep. All right, round two. Giuseppe already has two blocks of grid. Oh, White Beast just took those away. It's like, yo, those are mine. If you want this Warpole so badly, come get it. Well, he's about to get it. Because he checked the throw. And he got assimilation. He tried assimilation again. Yeah, it looks like uh, Giuseppe is just going to play this out like, yeah, I want to see what you're going to do. Oh. Set play or Set play or he blocked the overhead. Oh, oh he to jump low. And he got great broken. Oh my god, get okay. I will swore. You see, it's the confirm. Set up. The CS. Get off me! Blocks overhead. The set people to do nothing until he flinched again. Uh oh. 30 seconds off the clock, text the throw. Oh, 5C, no confirm. Giuseppe trying to get it. Oh, Rusty Nail. Oh, no! That's a huge confirm. All right, CS. Keep her. Woo! Giuseppe, not again. Giuseppe, not again. You're going to lose because of it. Yeah, you're losing now. Yeah, four seconds. Get boned. Get boned. Spending all the meter to make sure. Yep. All right, all right. All right good stuff, White Beast. But I'm pretty sure Giuseppe's not going to change his game plan at all. Oh my god, the second hit of TC confirm. All right. Assimilation. That's up. Wow, he didn't do assimilation? Whatever. He got a 4B. It's cool. Hey, hey, hey. Charge three C. Oh, that's a silly confirm. Good tech. And there's a TC again. Oh, you're dead. Ba -ba -ba. All right, Giuseppe up 2-0. An uncharacteristically quick round. Yeah, I think he was mad because he lost the last the last round due to timeout. And he was like, all right, I'm going I'm to win now. I got this. I got this, everyone. <laughs> Stay calm. I don't even know if it's anything like that. I just think he uh, found the opportunity and he took it. Yep. Like, that's the big thing. When you play against a character, uh, well, a player who's playing like that and just doing nothing at full screen for a long period of time, yep. it's easy to think that they're doing it to mess with you. But I think Giuseppe is just, that is a winning strategy for him. He's yeah. figured out that it works very well in this game, assuming you can block everything. And he's shown time and time again that he can block everything. I mean, you don't have to block everything. You have to block like 90% of things, 80% of things. Well, you get what I mean. Yeah. People are just like, you can't block everything. It's impossible. It's like, all right, we'll give you like a decent percentage. Yeah. Le leave us alone. Math you can nerds. block enough to make the strategy work. There you go. All right, so Giuseppe has a, he's had a life deficit. Nothing too crazy, but he's about to get Warple. Well, he's got it. Yeah, he's just chilling, waiting to see how White Beast plays the matchup out. Oh, no. Giuseppe was just chilling like, yeah, you can have that somersault. I'm not going to punish you. Look at, him, look at him do nothing. Look at him just, right. just do nothing and not be menacing at all. And he's still losing too. 
Uh, he's, still, he's still low on life, but he has Whirlpool again. Okay, he's about to win here, I think. CS. Commando? Oh, no! Okay. All right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. White Beast got it. Yeah. Literally, if that 2C hit properly, he would have got to confirm, he might have won the round off timeout again. That is exactly how that sort of strategy can backfire. If you uh, refuse to take any initiative, even at a deficit, you have exactly one chance to uh, take it at the end. Yes. And when you uh, don't make the most of that chance, your own strategy can backfire. And yep. White Beast is a... Uh, in this set, he's starting to take advantage of that. Right. I also don't know if that's just Giuseppe willing to not do anything to be like, yeah, I want to do nothing. Not because, like, he wants to see what White Beast is. Like, like, he can't stop me from doing this. Right. And, like, again, it, it bears repeating. It doesn't matter why he's making the choice. What matters is that it's effective and it's working. Yeah. Also, I think Giuseppe's just being a bully. That's all, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. All right, so he's already losing this. He, he actually has been down this whole round. All right, I guess we're uh -oh. Yeah, Giuseppe's being a little bit more active, like moving forward, not getting hit by stuff, except for that 5C. Oh, you're dead. And Wait, you're not dead. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I get... I mean, Giuseppe can't win this. Yeah, he's, he's forfeiting the round. Yeah. So White Beast is going to put himself on the board. Giuseppe really is timing us out again. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, Giuseppe's just like, this is what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to block for a long time. I'm going to do nothing for a long time. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> All right, game three. Game four. <laughs> Just, just Giuseppe holding everyone captive, doing nothing, making sure everyone has to sit here and watch this, this game. Watch oh God. Dog crouching <laughs> for uh, 700 seconds. That that would be a that'd be a good record. All right, so White Beast has a firm life lead. Doesn't get a confirm to 2C. Giuseppe got counter hit by 2B. Oh, there we go. CS assimilation. All right, we're in there. Stagger. White Beast pressing buttons immediately, like, all right, I'm taking my turn back, screw you. Is that about to win Vorpal again? Provided he doesn't get grid broken? Yeah, he's gonna wait it out. Run up, Vorpal. Oh my god! It's the hit. That well spaced 3C. Uh, simulation. Here we go. Oh god. Giuseppe has all the grid. These are all over, by diamonds. the way. Oh, ah. ba, 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 ba. All right, so Gi Giuseppe has no meter. And, and he's this is a side. tournament point for yeah. Giuseppe. Yep, yep. Giuseppe, please. Oh, why are you shielding there? I, I guess he, he thought a 2A was coming. That's fine. All right, there we go. Throw attack, but still doesn't, it's still grid broken, so he's not going to get any grid for this. All right, now he has his grid back. He's, he can shield stuff. White Beast is just, yeah, he's just trying to keep Giuseppe out. There we go, grid break again. Good stuff by White Beast. Oh no, wake up TC. Alright, let's to OP, side swap, yep. I'll be like, is it by 5C? Tricky stuff. I actually didn't die there, lucky. I mean, Giuseppe's gonna do nothing again, so we're gonna sit here and watch this forever. Oh god, I lied! I'm sorry! Alright, Giuseppe's gonna do stuff. Like, take that throw. Wait, what? Why'd that hit? Anyway. Wait, Giuseppe? Giuseppe, Giuseppe throws it away. Uh, I guess he thought he saw a jump or something? Took the risk, the risk did not pay off. Yep. Alright, shield. Dash up. Oh no. Oh wow, that counter hit White Beast. Sorry. Right. Oh, doesn't punish the 3C with the shield. After the shield. Throw attack. Throw attack. <laughs> Get off me. Oh my. That, that delay on the. That's just a little bit to delay. Such a 
Good choice by White Beast. Yep. Because it was it was a little bit faster. Would have got probably just not be would have blocked. He would have been able to block. Giuseppe still he's, he's still losing. Like he, he doesn't have yeah. enough life. Oh, the first. Oh boy. But he doesn't get a confirm after the Grim Reaper. Still down on life. White be slowly increasing the life deficit. But also getting closer to the corner. Oh, Great conversion. Those. Spends all the meter, takes all the damage right now because there's only 17 seconds left. Giuseppe's like, all right, he needs to try to win now. Oh my god. Oh. And it's 2-2. Two, two. White Beast, one game away from a reset. All right, so what White Beast is starting to do is take Giuseppe to these life deficits and then let him play that game until he has no time left. Right. Like, he's going to let Giuseppe run all that time until uh, he still has to make the moves and get back in, but now he has to do it with 10 seconds. Right. All right, so Giuseppe just gets a 2C right there. Probably another throw off to select. Dash up, stagger, throw tail. Woo! The Grim Reaper again. Do it again? Oh, you have more, but you can just Grim Reaper it again. That's cool, though. Tech those. Ooh, no Grim Reaper. There it is, yes. Assimilation. 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 Again. Do it again. Will we see a third? Damn no, it. two C. Damn it! Grim Reaper. He doesn't use CS because two, White Beast is too far to punish, and he uh, just does yeah. another good one. Once again, Giuseppe on tournament point. Giuseppe, please! You've been on tournament point for like the last 20 minutes now. Killing me. Flash kick. Oh, uh, yeah, he's just chilling until his precious grid gets taken away. And now he has Warpool. Funny how that turns out. <laughs> Do we see nothing? Hey, he gets TRM. Giuseppe has Warpool again. He's just waiting to get that. Whoops. Whoops. Big right. damage. Ooh, gets baited. All right, so White Beast now has a solid life lead. Oh. TRM once again. I'm not sure what White Beast is pressing at. Okay, reset point and tournament point. Oh, my God. Once again, the trade not in Batista's favor. That's hilarious to me that it's not. No mortal slide. Okay. Oh, Josh to confirm. Oh, might be nothing. Oh. Alright, that was another throw off to select, but it's okay. Damn, Giuseppe just did free Reaper there after the change. He changed it. Uh-oh. Assimilation. Oh, it doesn't kill the jump. Oh, there it is. And this could be it. Giuseppe, please do the right confirm. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. And Good with that, game. Giuseppe will take the tournament. Our Yomacon Battle Opera 2018 champion. Yes. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. AKA. AKA. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. AKA. AKA. Gorilla, Gorilla Guillotine. AKA. I don't, I don't have anything else. <laughs> well, once someone gives you more names for uh, Giuseppe, then I can like work off that, but I don't. All right. Thank you all for watching uh, Eunice at Yomacon 2018. There is, there's still a Soul Calibur tournament going on that's being streamed. Um, I don't know the stream name. If someone can put it in the chat, please go watch that. It, it has 100 people, 100 plus people playing right Yeah, now? it's a big tournament. If you're interested in Soul Cal, want to see some play of the new version, check it out. Yes, please. Uh, all right, so I guess thank you for watching, Eunice, and please show, come back here tomorrow for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle at 11 a.m., I believe? Yep. All we right, still cool. have a lot of good entertainment for you over the course of the weekend, so stay tuned. Yes. Thank you very much. Have a good night, everyone. Later. Okay, just uh, before y'all all leave out of here, there is a possibility that...
some leftover Soul Calibur matches might be streamed on here. So if you're interested in Soul Calibur, we might have some matches here. Just just a might. But anyway, thank you all for watching. This is all my DLPZ. I'm going to sign out of here for y'all. Get y'all out of here, man. Appreciate every single one of y'all. I'll do a little read-off for you guys, too. Well, not everybody. I'll get the names I recognize. Anyway, shout-outs to Jamal313. I see you. Dragoonstein or Dragoonstein, shout out to you, bro. Uh, who else is in here? I might know. Magnemite. If that's the actual magnets with, with a play on the word, shout out to you. Shout out to uh, Skinny Seahorse. This guy's been in here all day. This person here, shout out to them, man. Teleport Tiny Turtle. Teleport Tin Turtle, I think. What's up, man? Oh, my dude, Tiggy. What's up, man? I wish we had DFC. Shout out to you being in the chat. Shout out to you, hey, bro. I see you in the chat, man. The rest of all y'all, bro. Appreciate all the viewership, man. See y'all later. And you, Frosty. See you too, dude.